And I'm not, I'm not, ins- I'm not insulting Mr. Beast in any way. I'm just saying that he was wrong about a few things. Firstly, I'm certainly not a podcast for it in any regard. In fact, that's what I'm I turned down 95%. You don't that's think- That's what I'm saying, bro, I'm, Brad. I'm, I'm, and I want to state all this and I'm not being arrogant. The easiest way you can guarantee a big viewing channel on your, uh, on your YouTube right now is to get me on it. So many people want to hear my voice. And the thing about it is that like using this voice in videos is really hard because everyone around me knows that I'm trans. So mentally it can be kind of hard to get like in that headspace of like using my proper voice because so many people around me are so used to hearing my old voice. That makes sense. This ain't true. And this screenshot is Chris Tyson talking one-on-one with him. And at this point, he would have been 16. And here we go. Here is the picture of them meeting up together. I'm gonna censor his face. And as you can see right there, there, there's Carl right there. There's Chris Tyson right there. Chris Tyson was talking to this guy since he was 13. Chris Tyson was in college. And of course, the moment he was able to drive, he takes a camper van out in the middle of the woods, which by the way, very secluded area. Let me talk about that. Anytime that someone is taking a camper van somewhere, bringing it out in the desert or the middle of the woods, it's very unnecessary because there's RV parks, there's the Walmart parking lot, there's plenty of areas you can go instead of going to a place that's very unfamiliar to you to camp out there, especially in a secluded area. 30 year old Chris Tyson is exposed for being a legitimate predator. I don't believe this benefits Mr. Beast's amazing family friendly platform. The public tweets and interactions with adult content involving minors is really what tipped it off. Chris regularly interacted with Shadbase, asking for art with a four-year-old child and his mom, along with incestuous art between two twins and a Disney Channel show, which makes the photos of Chris's child in high heels even worse. Chris, who was friends with Shadbase and interacted with him regularly, pulled up Shadbase's art on a live stream. Nickelodeon, known for its horrible treatment of children and its grooming behavior, invited Chris Tyson to the 2023 Kids' Choice Awards. The heavy part of this comes from Lava, who is 14, being groomed by Chris. Chris's Twitter is completely scrubbed, but all of this was public. Interacting with a 14-year-old back in 2018, talking about your private adult content. This 14-year-old boy says, I'm your first Patreon, big boy. Sent $1, but not $5? Pathetic. JK, kissing emoji. Lava says, check again, winky face. Chris says, I posted some fire blank for you. Just a short one year later, Lava and Chris had direct contact through Snapchat. By 2020, again, they're having private Discord calls. Lava was added on Chris's Steam. Lava and Chris were so close, Lava could participate in a Mr. Beast stream that got 70 million views. This guy Beast came out and said, Ava is a great father to his two year old boy, or her, whatever the fuck. That's what he said on Twitter to me. This fucking character, man. <laughs> I don't care how popular you are. I don't care how much money you got, how much power you think you got. Dog, I, I, like if we were in person, I'd fucking grab him by his neck. What, oh, don't speak to me that way. Are you out of your fucking mind? He's got his two-year-old boy in heels that fit. There's a concern here. And if there isn't for you, then you are part of the problem. It's not okay, it's not healthy. It's weird now. Tyson makes a tweet Fucking stating how one more basement. Patreon donation they get and never crumb of tweets. But apparently this dude Chris's girl came out and defended him. Bo, he's weird, bro. That's weirdo. Widow, 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 widow. Yes, yes, widow. Yes, Chris from Mr. Beast, bro. It's fucked up. It's weird. It's weird, bro. It's weird. It's weird. I don't care. That shit is weird, bro. It's weird. Should it not be it? it like, what a video? Let me get a, let me see the tweet, bro. Whatever the tweet, the video. I just heard it on some blogs and shit. I'm like, bro, what the fuck, bro? Like, what is going on, bro? Like, how do you see? How do you? How do you see? How do you know the age of someone, knowing that you're a grown ass man? and still move forward, bro. I don't understand it. I don't, bro. I don't, gang. I, I see a lot of people asking me to comment on on, on the, the Mr. Beast situation or whatever with, with Chris. Listen, it's fucking simple. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you are. I don't care what community you're part of. I'm talking to fucking anyone underage. Hello? It's not It's not difficult. Don't condone it. Just don't fucking do it. I don't know what to tell you, man. Now listen, guys, I, I, 
I can promise you. It's not hard. Here's what you do, chat. Ready? You just don't DM anyone. Obviously, <laughs> dude, like it's 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 not it's not hard. It's not it's really not hard to be faithful, dude. It's um it's probably one of the easiest things in the world. You just I mean you just like, like I don't know what to tell you. It's not hard. <laughs> like I don't know what to tell you. I don't do that. I go I go out of my way to make sure that I am never even alone in another room with a woman. A ever, ever, in any moment. Like even like my P there was a, even like my PR person. Like it, it doesn't matter who it is. I don't care if they work for me, whatever, bro. There is someone else in that room at all times. If we're alone, I leave instantly that's like that's on like fidelity right as for anything else dude it, it just i don't dm anyone bro. i dm my boys like i dm like guys in the community you know there's no private messages going on with any girls if there are it's some it's like someone like chica or like just like people in this space and then i let my wife know and then as for like the people that i know bro if i don't know you i'm not dming you i don't want to get to know you dude i don't want to find out you're only 17 like i don't know how to explain it man i'm also 33 years old and like you know if i was freaking 19 20 again like me and i wasn't you know in an incredible relationship it's it, i don't know first things first sneak was fine, right that's first of all. Second of all, bro, I do want to say one thing that's insane. Why are all these creators so scared to talk about fucking uh, 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 Chris Tyson, but they were so easy to talk about Dr. Disrespect? That just doesn't make any sense to me, bro. Don't say GG's chat. It shouldn't affect anything about the new direction we're going, but come on, I'm being real. Why are so many creators scared to tweet and talk about it, but they were so quick to put all these tweets about Dr. Disrespect? It's just insane. It's like obvious, chat, what's going on here. If you know, you fucking know. X, X, X is one person that's fair. He likes consistency. It doesn't matter who you are, your sexuality, your race, your gender. It don't fucking matter. If somebody's called out for being a fucking pedophile, and there's, there was more proof on Chris than there was on Dr. Disrespect. Like, come on. I'm not saying too wrong. I'm not defending Dr. Respect. He's a pedophile too. But I'm just saying, like, there's literally more. Bro, I'm watching clips, bro. I'm like, what the fuck am I hearing right now, bro? Snapchat messages and shit. Hey, Mr. Beast. My little brother used to watch you guys, Mr. Beast. I have a five-year-old brother who watches you guys, Mr. B, to find out that Chris is a fucking pedal f Man, do you know what that means to me? I have a little brother who watches you, Mr. Beast. I have a little brother who's five years old who watches you. You know how much that means to me, bro? That hurts my heart, bro. That hurts my heart, bro. You have a big following, Mr. Beast. You got trannies and fucking pedal on your shit, bro. Like, fix up, bro. What the fuck is going on? Like, Mr. Beast, I love your content. You know, my little brother watches you all day, bro. But finding this out, I hope he doesn't find that he was a pedal out, bro, because you might lose a subscriber, bro. You just got to watch out for these files, bro. Watch your circle, bro. Top line Ava Chris Tyson, co-host of the immensely popular Mr. Beast YouTube channel, has decided to quit. Tyson has also faced a series of transphobic attacks since announcing her hormone replacement therapy last year. This week, Tyson responded to allegations that she exchanged inappropriate messages with a fan when Tyson was 20 and the fan was younger. The alleged victim, now a 20-year-old named Lava, has denied these claims. Lava stated that although they ran a Discord together with edgy, inappropriate jokes, she was never exploited or taken advantage of. Despite the allegations, Tyson posted that she would like to apologize for any of her past behavior or comments if they hurt or offended anyone. It was not her intent. In the same post, she announced she would permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast and social media to focus on her family and mental health. In addition to the grooming allegations, the decision to step out of the spotlight comes after an onslaught of transphobic attacks on Tyson, who has undergone hormone replacement therapy and changed her name from Chris Tyson to Ava Chris. Both Mr. Beast, whose real name is Jimmy Donaldson, and Tyson's ex-wife have publicly defended her and called for an end to the harassment. Tyson stated that to create a narrative that her behavior extended beyond bad edgy jokes is disgusting and did not happen. In past years, she has learned that her old humor is not acceptable. She cannot change who she was, but she can continue to work on herself. Tyson has appeared on Donaldson's YouTube channel, the most subscribed to channel across the entire platform since it was started in 2012. She has been involved in many of the prank and challenge videos on the channel and was the main host of the Beast Reacts channel, which records the pair's responses to viral videos online. In March of 2023, Tyson revealed she and her wife had been separated for a year and confirmed on Twitter that she had started hormone replacement therapy. She later said she would go by she, her pronouns and updated her name earlier this year. Since 2012, the Mr. Beast channel has grown to be the most subscribed channel on YouTube, 
with more than 300 million subscribers. Donaldson was named by Forbes as the highest earning creator of 2023 and highest paid YouTube star in 2022. He is estimated to have earned $54 million last year. Ava Chris Tyson, a longtime friend and collaborator of YouTube star Jimmy Donaldson, better known as Mr. Beast, announced this week that she is leaving the channel after online commentators accused her of grooming. Tyson regularly appeared on the Mr. Beast channel, which features outrageous challenges, elaborate giveaways, and high spending comparison videos. Donaldson has 305 million YouTube subscribers, making his channel the most subscribed to on the platform. Tyson, who is a transgender woman, has B. Seeing recent events, we've mutually decided it's best I permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast and social media to focus on my family and mental health. Lava GS, now 20, rebutted the grooming claims Monday on X. These videos are massive lies and twisting the truth, he said. Ava never did anything wrong and just made a few edgy jokes. I was never exploited or taken advantage of. He added that Chris's messages to me were sent in public Discord servers, chalk groups, but everyone is framing it as if it was one-on-one. -on -one. A representative for Tyson did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Lava GS also did not immediately respond to a request for comment via X. Tyson posted an apology on X for making unacceptable social media posts, but directed people to Lava GS's posts denying claims of grooming. To lump these two factors together to create a narrative that my behavior extended beyond bad edgy jokes is disgusting and did not happen, she posted on X. In past years, I have learned that my old humor is not acceptable. I cannot change who I was, but I can continue to work on myself. Despite the posts from Tyson and Lava GS, many online believed the sexual references in Tyson's interactions should not be passed off as edgy. Some said it is inappropriate for adult content creators to engage in explicit conversations with their fans because there is a power imbalance. Amid the criticism against her inappropriate posts, Tyson has received comments misgendering her, as well as anti-LGBTQ harassment. Lava GS has received comments doubting his account of his experience and accusing him of having been paid off. Donaldson has not publicly commented on Tyson's departure or the allegations. A representative for Donaldson did not immediately respond to a request for comment Wednesday. One of Mr. Beast's YouTube co-hosts, Ava Chris Tyson announced she's quitting the popular channel after the allegations. Tyson addressed the allegations on social media on Tuesday. I would like to apologize for any of my past behavior or comments if it hurt or offended anyone, Tyson began her statement. It was not my intent. Seeing recent events, we've mutually decided it's best I permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast and social media to focus on my family and mental health. She added, in follow-up tweets, Tyson said, I want to add, I never groomed anyone. The person who gets brought up in these accusations, who uses the handle ah lava GS on X and goes by Lava, has vocally supported that they are false. Lava, now 20, wrote, Ava never did anything wrong and just made a few edgy jokes. I was never exploited or taken advantage of. Tyson similarly acknowledged making off-color comments. I humbly apologize to anyone I have hurt with my unacceptable social media posts, past actions, and to those who may feel betrayed by how I used to act online. To lump these two factors together to create a narrative that my behavior extended beyond bad edgy jokes is disgusting and did not happen, she went on. In past years, I have learned that my old humor is not acceptable. I cannot change who I was, but I can continue to work on myself. Tyson added, I don't want these accusations to impact the hundreds of people who work at Mr. Beast, which is why I have stepped away. Since 2012, Tyson had appeared alongside Mr. Beast, now 26, on his YouTube channel, which has over 300 million subscribers, more than anyone else on YouTube. Tyson, who came out as a transgender woman last year, was accused of grooming Lava in a 45-minute video posted online in June by the account Prism42. 